Hello everyone, it's Andy at uh, Kinder Kitchens again. Um, another video for you today, uh, uh, something new again, I've not done one of these before, but uh, we just got uh, a new door in uh, a couple of days ago, one of the one of our suppliers who makes and uh, uh, solid wood doors and paints them for us, um, has, has brought a new, a new door out. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you. Uh, I've got a sample here, which I'll show you in a second. I've also got some images, which I'm gonna pop up on screen um, and just tell you a little bit about the new door. Um, so uh, let's, have a, let's have a look at it. So pretty much as always, it's a, it's a solid wood painted door, which is predominantly all we kind of really do. Um, uh, it's not the only type of kitchen door out there. Um, but uh, if you look at some of my other videos, I, I, I do go through in detail why um, uh, you might choose solid wood over uh, uh, a painted MDF door or a, a five-piece sort of vinyl door or something like that. I, I go into quite a good detail about just what they're all like. Um, so this is another painted wood one. So uh, it's painted, it's ash. Uh, the door's made out of ash and then it's been painted uh, and lacquered and um, pretty much as most sort of timber doors you would find from most kind of independent kitchen shops are these days that they're generally made out of that if you were to want this in an oak finish it would actually be made out of oak i, I don't know yet whether there's an oak variant for this door or not oak doors aren't that popular these days so it wouldn't surprise me if uh, if that wasn't the case because this isn't a huge range I'll, I'll just talk a bit more about that in a minute but uh, so it's a painted ash door and then lacquered um, and then design wise if, if we kind of have a look at it I'll show you some some more images in a minute but we can see it's got a narrow sort of styles and, and rails which is the way so many doors are going these days you know a lot of the sort of more traditional doors that we used to have they're kind of reinventing them in a slightly more contemporary way but without with a thinner rail because that's uh, it's really on trend at the moment I think the rail's 59 mil so um my phone just started ringing then but it stopped again thankfully um so um yeah 59 mil rail um it's got a completely flat panel on the inside so it's not too faffy uh, which you would expect kind of you know a few years ago something with with such a big bead on it. it's got quite a big bead there like a two-step bead i don't know whether you can see that i'll just sort of try and zoom you in a little bit there so you can have a closer look at that but it's a really really nice beading detail and with the flat panel in the middle i have to say it looks really really nice i'm not a huge fan of particularly faffy doors I, I, I do prefer sort of more contemporary doors myself um although i like you know wood but contemporary um but it, I, I absolutely i think it looks amazing I'll, i'm definitely going to put it on display um the next display to do is at the front of the shop under the window um so either that or the one in the corner we're, we're, we're thinking about changing to this the range isn't actually out yet uh, i think it comes out in the next couple of weeks the whole range so that, like i say i've just got the door recently um, so range wise, and I know kind of when you guys are shopping for kitchens, um, and the reason I'm trying to do the videos is to give you a bit greater detail into what sort of goes on to, you know, how kitchens are made up and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, but typically on a, on a door range, sometimes we have very big door ranges that have lots and lots and lots of components. So they might have loads of different mantles and lots and lots of, you know, when you watch my des design series that i'm starting for uh, kitchen design um you kind of learn a bit more about that then but there's loads and loads of different componentries that some rangers have um usually kind of slightly more ex expensive wood rangers and then the kind of cheaper wood rangers which is made out of the same thing it's not that the door's any different it's not it's made in exactly the same way but once the cheaper end rangers tend not to have anywhere near as many accessories um now when you've sort of buy kitchen doors in the way that we do you can mix and match those ranges so sometimes you might be buying a door that comes from a sort of slightly uh, cheaper end range as in it had doesn't because it's got the componentry with it but then you can buy componentry from the dearer door range you know different types of cornice and stuff like that panels framed panels and all that kind of thing you can buy it from them and i'll just have it painted to the same color at the same time uh, and mix and match between ranges which you know a lot of the time that, that happens when you're doing bespoke kitchen design uh, and it's a good way of being able to have a few kind sort of uh, sort of wow factors from a really expensive range and then integrate it into a cheaper range is, is to do that it's a good system it works well but for this range itself I would describe it as kind of middle. So there's quite a lot of componentry in there. I have had a look at the componentry list. I've got some paperwork in front of me. 
obviously you've got all your curved stuff that comes uh, with this so quadrant doors if you want a, a curved end to islands or, or or whatever framed options there's quite a few glazing options there there's some there's some big glazing options i've noticed that there's uh, sort of uni molds and stuff like that which is quite useful it's like small sort of quadrant details that uh, help you uh, design framed panels there are framed panels available uh, in this range um, which is kind of when you see your end panels instead of just being a kind of flat panel you'll see uh, kind of you know it framed out so it kind of looks a bit like a door but on your end panel uh, we'll see a bit more of that in the pictures as we go through them uh, and yeah it's quite a quite a big range so I'll, 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 I'll put some pictures over onto the screen and we'll go through those I've just got my laptop in front of me so I'm just going to look at them on here uh, but I'll stick them on the screen so you guys can see them. So yeah, the first picture that we're looking at there, it's a Red Island white worktops. Uh, nothing new there. That 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 mix of colours goes absolutely amazing. Whether it's a dark red or, or blues or greens, looks fantastic with uh, sort of modern white worktops. And you can see there, if we look kind of at the front of that island, we've got a little draw pack and uh, a single door next to it. And I don't think you can see where the panels either side of the, the units, they're quite thick coming down. So that's like a uni mould in, in profile. Um, and with that, you can do all sorts of things. Where the stools are behind the stools, you can see the panel there, rather than just being a flat panel, it's got like framing detail on the outside. Again, that's been done with a kind of, uh, uh, um, it's, I guess the best way to describe it is like a modern sort of uh, light pelmet. It's uh, it's just like framing detail, which you can make a you can really boost the look of your kitchen a, a great deal with stuff like that. And it, it's quite inexpensive as well. It's not it's not you know it doesn't cost a huge amount of money. Uh, and then in the background you can see a big glazed option. There's a big mantle there you can see on that picture, and this range does come with a mantle. I think I think it comes with two mantles, and they are cut to size. And that's that's quite important detail that because mantles can be very very expensive and they're also a lot of the time come in specific sizes and unless you're chimney breast in your house and just in this particular area we have a lot of sort of stone uh, houses that have got chimney breasts in and unless it comes just at the right size it can be a really expensive job getting a mantle so to see one that can be cut to size is is, is a nice feature the, you know the fitter can actually do that on site that, that's a nice feature um, moving on to the next one that's the same kitchen from a different angle uh, you can see it's got a Belfast sink in there with the white again going really really nice with the uh, with the red and in the background you can see uh, that it's been kind of used in a dining room there as well and you'll notice where the sort of dresser with the drawers is on the right hand side that really thick panel that's that's closing that area off um, that's a, a, an extra wide end panel that they do, which is really good. We'll see, we'll see that in action on a few of the other pictures, but that's fantastic for uh, creating more... You wouldn't necessarily use it in a kitchen, but maybe in a utility where you've got open shelving or a front room in a, you know, a, a, a kind of TV cabinet, that kind of thing. Thick panels are really, uh, really, really useful for getting a, 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 a super bespoke look without, you know, spending tons of money. Uh, next picture is the same kitchen from the other side and you can see the panel in detail on there that's what I was talking about where you frame your panel rather than just having a blank panel um, and you can create that look with this kind of range quite you know without breaking the budget and, and it and it gets a really sort of upmarket look I love that um, that's a better picture of the um, sort of dining room area you can see that big thick panel there finishes it off nicely that looks really nice it's become more popular to expand kitchen ranges these days to encompass being able to do furniture around the home, you know, not just for bedrooms, but uh, I know a lot of door companies are producing the same door for the kitchens and for bedrooms these days. So uh, it's quite interesting. And it also, of course, means you can get solid wood doors for your bedroom, which historically, you know, it's nearly always sort of vinyls for a, um, a bedroom. So yeah, that looks nice. Next one, that's uh, again, using the thick panels for shelving. Uh, either side of chimney breast there from front room that looks nice so there's another kitchen image different kitchen big seating area in that one and you can see you'll notice on that on either side of the oven there um, 1965 doors so if you look at the uh, where the ovens are uh, housed you've got full height doors so that could be a, an old fridge or a larder or something like that but rather than having split doors like you know a 715 and a, a 1245 above it as if it was a fridge you can get the full height doors with the rails going across um, that'll look really really nice we, we do that quite a lot already with some other ranges um, 
it's a nice look. Um, yeah, nice. Moving on, uh, that's the same picture again. Again, you can see the other mantle option there, which is quite nice. Um, again, that's just, you know, if you imagine kind of where the clock is, that's all done in sort of plasterboard and then and then plastered up and then the, the kind of uh, mantle that you can see below there is, is what you would get with the range to, 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 to finish it all off on the bottom and to kind of disguise your extract to where that's gonna be. It's got a step in the quartz there, which is really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Um, where the bottles are behind the oven. I, I love that idea of putting your oven in, but having a little bit deeper gap at the back of the oven so you can have a, a step up for your quartz on a little shelf. Um, really nice. Uh, that's a utility. Again, they've used the thick shelves um, for the uh, for the shelves and stuff. Looks, looks really, really smart. Some open units. Makes a big difference if you can do your open units. You know, if you're mixing uh, a kind of... Uh, melamide units with solid wood doors, which most people do in the kind of mid-range mid, mid -range sort of kitchens. Um, but you can use thick end panels for your shelving. It really brings the color of the solid wood into the unit and, and, and gives you a, a great finish. Uh, and we can see there's a ladder in that as well. The ladder, I think, comes from a different range, so that, that can be added onto it. Um, so, TV display there. That's the same door in, in a black colour. Haven't seen any black doors for a while. So that's nice. And you can see it's got uh, quite a tall cornice on there with a cornice block, which is also comes with that range, which is like a, a kind of piece that goes below your cornice to kind of extend it up to give it a, a better finish. Um, thick end panels used on that again. You can see the quadrants um, uh, on, the, on the side there to give a nice round look to the edge of the cornice. Bah, wow, I wish I had a house big enough to fit that in. Looks amazing. What have we got there? Yeah, nice dresser. You know, really sort of with the with the curved corners on it, it really does look like a, a, a standalone piece, but it is literally made out of out of kitchen kitchen components. And you can see that's got a, a feature plinth on it with the, you know, where the, the, the plinth is set to the front like a skirting board rather than um, set back like a kitchen usually is, uh, which works really well for things like that. You wouldn't, you know, I've seen a few people put it on the kitchen and then constantly kick it every time you go to your to your worktop. It's not, I, I, I never recommend putting that on, uh, you know, around the backs of islands is fine, but uh, at your actual kitchen, we sometimes get asked for it. And I, I always just say, just be mindful that uh, because there's no, gap for your toes you will end up kicking it all the time uh, and last one is um yeah nice uh, boot room um, we've done quite a few boot rooms lately I'm, I'm really into it actually um if you can get a little bit of space that one looks huge and they've stacked the washer and dryer there never the best idea that anyway they've stacked the they've stacked the washer and dryer it looks like a fantastic room but it is quite big that i don't come across too many rooms where you can fit all that in there but the actual hall tree that you can see there i've done quite a few variants of that either freestanding or uh, built into units like that one is i have to say that looks absolutely awesome in black um need, need quite a bit of light in your room but looks fantastic yeah, so that's it. So uh, yeah, looks really, really smart range. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. We'll be getting a few more samples in the next couple of weeks. And then um, hopefully I'll be putting one on display as well, which will be, which will be uh, a bit more work for me. And um, yeah, so if you've got any more questions about the range uh, or anything with your kitchen, or you're, you're thinking about having a new kitchen, we're based in New Mills and um, by all means drop us a line or, or get in touch through the website. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, take care, bye-bye.